Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Icon here. And so we're using the Peacekeeper today. And I wanted to try something new with this series. Um, this is the very first time that I used this gun on this map, which is Grind. So I figured since it was my very first time, I can kind of explain to you how I go about trying to learn a map <clears throat> and uh, some of the techniques that I use while this map's going on. So. First of all, I just looked at my mini map and I saw that B was like right around this corner and I saw a dot on that side. So I figured, you know, this stuff is all just like instincts. I saw a dot, I thought it was stun, and I just ran towards B. So right here I see a window and I saw that people were standing outside of it. So I threw a C4 up there to try to push them back. Um, and from here I kind of just hang out in this corner for, I don't know, another 10 or 15 seconds or so. Um, Again, I think I'm doing a pretty good job of patrolling B, trying to keep them off of it. Uh, eventually, people get up in that window behind me and take me out. But, oh, migrating host, I love it. But, <clears throat> so anyways, the very first time that I, I play these new maps, I like to play an objective-based game because it, it seems to it seems to teach me the flow of the map better. So, in this example, you know, you see like, like the linear part of the map in terms of A, B, and C. So exactly how the map is laid out. <clears throat> and then you learn like where B is at and the routes to get to B. You know, especially if, if you're at A or C, I mean you learn how to get across the map and you learn how to maneuver the map. This map, I don't know, after I've played this twice and this is my initial reactions and I like it. I like the colors and everything and I like the size. I might make maps a little bit smaller. I think this might even be a little bit too big for my personal liking. But, um, with that being said, the one thing that I don't like about this map is that if you're on the side where I just came from, so right to my right on the other side of that wall, it is harder to get to B than it is if you come from the other side. So like right now, from this side, it's harder to get to B if you go around towards CDOM <clears throat> because you have to go like up into their skate shop and then down the ramps and into the middle of the map which is B whereas on the other side you just kind of walked right through that back door so for me personally I would have liked to see the entrance to B Dom uh, on both sides a little bit more clear or I don't know just a little bit more apparent but anyways um, going away from like the map the way that it's made and the map design and whatnot Another thing that I want to talk about is uh, the Peacekeeper in general. So this is, I think, the third game that I've used it, uh, the fourth game maybe. <clears throat> and honestly, I love this gun. I think it's awesome. So for those of you that do know me, I like to play with assault rifles. I've always been that way since Call of Duty 4. I've always used assault rifles. Um, this game was a learning curve for me in that it was a lot of SMGs and a lot of overpowered SMGs at that. So like the MSMC and the PDW and the Scorpion and you're really forced to, to really play faster because you know your gun isn't as effective at 60 or 70 yards or so. But this gun I love because of the fact that you know it's easy to kill people at that 50 to 70 yard distance where most assault rifles are. And this game, let's be honest, it's really lacking in terms of assault rifles. So it's it's a good change of pace to get a new gun. You know, it brings in uh, more excitement. It gets people to play the game more. So, but all in all, I think that they did a pretty good job. So this game, um, in particular, it's, it was really aggravating <clears throat> because of the fact that I actually I played really well. Um, you'll see my stats along the way, but I had like. Six to ten caps. I'm not sure. And then I had like 17 defense, and I think we ended up losing. And my teammates were just slacking the whole game, and part of the game I was a man down. So it really was. It was just a frustrating game to play, and that's what you run into when you play uh, just with a bunch of randoms most of the time. But um, getting back into like the gameplay and what I'm trying to do, like right now we're stuck at A. We're kind of trapped in here. We have teammates on the right side, but they're not necessarily sprinting into B and trying to push people back. So I'm trying to get people back further from their team. The way that I like to cap B 
is that, and if you watch any of my other videos, then you know this. But before I go in and just hop on B, I like to push them back so that I have an easier time capping B. So I'll push them back, I'll kill them, and I'll push them back, and I'll keep doing that until uh, they're like back in their spawn enough to where we can hop on B and capture it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I go to B and there's nobody left at A. So I mean. With this team that I'm playing with, it's just it's just horrible. I, I, I couldn't fill all the roles that I needed to fill. But <clears throat> here's the end of the first round. That would have been a nice double. So I'm 21 and six with five caps and 12 defense as of right now. And again, you know, I'm constantly moving, but I'm constantly moving in a way that I'm trying to help my team out. So I'm not just like lurking around the left or right flanks, you know, just trying to get kills. I'm really trying to help my team out, capture flags, push the enemy back so that my teammates can also come in and help out. Capture the objective. And here we're a man down, so I don't think a person ever gets picked up this entire game. But I wanted to go ahead and do a commentary on this because it was kind of my first go through with this map in terms of domination. So <clears throat> again, right here, I noticed that there's people over there. I'm trying to push them back before I hop on B. And it seems that the coast is clear. So now that you know they're pushed back a little bit and I have a teammate over there, then I go ahead and hop on B. And uh, this person is the last person I have to worry about. So I kill him and then I retreat a little bit. This skate ramp that's right in the middle, uh, I like a lot actually. It offers good... <laughs> Oh, and here's another part. The skate ramp, it offers good cover, but right here with the Hellstorm missiles, you can fly them right through the middle of B. So if you don't know that, um, if you're playing this map and you know, you're playing an objective where B is in the middle, you can use Hellstorm missiles or lightning strikes to go through the, the ceiling there and, and get them off. Right here I use Hunter Killer. Hunter Killer is also good in this map. As if you recall what I just did, I threw a Hunter Killer through that window and got a double kill. They're kind of like sitting ducks in this little pit down here. So if you throw, <coughs> sorry about that. If you throw your Hunter Killer through that window, or on the other side, there's another window you can throw it to through. So if you throw it through those windows, uh, it's very likely to get you a kill, especially if it is blinking, you know, saying that we're losing the, the uh, domination flag. But right now, I mean. <laughs> Again, I feel like I'm just running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I'm just, I'm trying to fill all of these roles and it's just not possible. So I cap A and now I'm trying to go back to B and push them back and uh, it's just, I don't know. It just, I feel like I'm in quicksand. I'm just not, I'm going nowhere very quickly. But again, I, I'm not going to stop trying. I'm not just going to give up and, you know, just, I don't know, just give up on our team. But here... <laughs> Again, there's a Guardian, so I tried to crawl underneath it. I didn't really want to get in the way of it, but you know, I got so close and there was just no avoiding it. And here, we're pushed all the way back into our spawn. Our teammates aren't doing anything on this right side in terms of pushing them out of our spawn. So this way, I go over to the right over here, which is a side that I hate because it's so disconnected from the rest of the map. But I go to this right side because of the fact that <clears throat> Sorry about that. But because there was a guardian facing the other way, and then I get up to this skate shop, and there's a guardian facing the other way. So at this point, <clears throat> I don't go up the middle because there's a guardian. I don't go up the side into the skate shop because there's a guardian. So I decided to go back and hop on C. Um, so I end up capping this, and uh, I think I kill somebody here soon. <clears throat> But anyway, so I'm just trying at this point to just salvage as many points as possible. Uh, I realize that there's no way that I'm getting to be from this direction while I, that guardian is up. So I take a five seconds or so and you know take it out. Um, <coughs> there was somebody on those stairs over there. You know he was when I was taking out the guardian. I saw him over there. But as of right now, there's like three people. There was two on the stairs. There was one underneath the window. So we're just, our team's just really being overrun, and then we have people like over here on this right side, like this guy, he's got like a sniper rifle and he's just chilling, throwing beddies and stuff, so it just makes it impossible almost to, you know, to really win a game, especially when a lot of the people on their team are really trying. So I've taken out three people, and here's a fourth person, so I'm trying to push back as many people as I can, 
uh, my teammate just died over here, and everybody that I just killed comes back. So, <coughs> again, sorry about the coughing. Um, my sinuses are all, you know, stuffed up. So again, I mean, at this point in time, there's not really much that I could do. There's only 40 seconds left, so I'm not gonna win. Um, there's somebody here. I actually didn't see the person that was to my left coming up the state, the the stairs into the skate shop. Um, and it's crazy when you look back at games when you see the things that you miss like that. So um, as this rounds out, I think our teammates actually started to capture some flags here. Um, I still haven't given up, <clears throat> even though there's absolutely zero way that we can win this match. Um, but don't underestimate this head glitch right here. A lot of people, um, and it didn't do me very well this game, but in games past that, you could sit up there and a lot of people just sit up there, or uh, they rush in from CDOM, and you can take them out in dead sprint. And if you get in trouble, you can fall down and go up the stairs to your right, or run out the door, or whatever. It's just a good overall head glitch. Um, <clears throat> but that's really the rest of this gameplay. I don't really have too much else to say. I'm still, you know, kind of running off first instinct in terms of how I like this map pack. So I like it. I like the colors. I don't really like the des the design of grind too much. But I mean, what are you gonna do? So maybe it'll grow on me. End up with 37 and 16 with 10 caps and 17 defense, and my teammates were just not doing anything. Alright guys, as we get into the outro, you can subscribe to my channel, Icon Nation, up in the top right corner. Uh, the video on the left is a Peacekeeper breakdown that I did in terms of uh, baking, breaking the Peacekeeper down, uh, how much damage it does at certain range, how many bullets for a headshot, whatnot. There's also a complete statistical breakdown from bullet damage to everything else. The video on the right is a pro tip that talks about claymores and how to use them. I oftentimes see people using uh, Betty's more often and that's just a silly move. And then if you want to follow me on Twitter, my handle is below, it's at IconNationGaming and there's my Facebook page. Don't forget, subscribe to our Team Aggression channel, there's a bunch of people that post on here. So uh, we'll keep the information coming and I'll catch you guys next time, later.